right guys, Matt here from Let's Play All. Today we're going to be looking at Mike's Parts to Black, which are some of my absolute favourite, favourite bits that he does. So anyway, let's crack on and have a look at some of this awesome playing. So once Stone's finished his riff, Mike comes in with the drums and bass, which goes like this. While Stone's playing that chord, Mike's playing Third time round you're going to hear your first fill, so he plays Okay, awesome, so that's Again, another quick hammer on. And then the next phrase goes like this. Two, three, four. Okay, so the slide's played on the fourth beat of that second bar, so it's. Okay, there's lots of little riffs there, so I'm going to just do these one at a time, okay? So over the second verse, you start with this. Okay, three, four. Okay, so same as before. And then you're going to go into the same chord as before. Okay, so let's play those two together. Yeah, one more time. Three, four. Okay, next riff. Second riff, it's the same as previously. So those two together. Okay, lovely stuff, some of his finest work. The next phrase goes like this. So that slowly is two beats on the E string. Then you're going to do that hammer on thing again. Okay, so then the A riff this time goes. Those two together, three, four. And then you repeat this riff twice. Okay, so the next section is the chorus. strings muted, um, you bring your thumb over the top to play the 8th fret uh, on the E string and then you're just playing out a full chord but it's quite loose, it's very think Jimi Hendrix, Stevie Ray Vaughan kind of okay that slowly Okay, so a little flurry at the end. It's quite loose, there's a lot of bits in there and sometimes he plays. But 
the essence of it is that. Then you're going to play it around one more time. And there's another fill on the last C, so it's... Okay? So you'll see that in the tab. This time when it goes to the E... joins in with Stone's riff. So you're going to play... So once you've played... You go to this riff. One, two... Okay, so that's the phrase. You're going to then repeat that around. Second time around you play this. And then you're back into the verse. So let me play that whole section round again. So there's a little bit more going on in his parts in this bit, so I'll break them down again. And um, let me just play the E and the A section first. So coming out of you play this. Okay, so it's Slowly. And the next riff is... Okay, that little lick at the end. So that again slowly. Next phrase, and that slowly. Okay, pretty simple. And the next riff is okay. So that is um, just a hammer off on the fifth fret. And then I hammer on from the uh, sixth fret on the G string to the seventh. Uh, and then you're going to go to this riff again. Uh, then you're into that next chord section. Same as before, then you're into that section again. But there's a part where they go back to the D. For that section, Mike plays this. Okay, so I think Stone plays it maybe four times. Where he's... 
So Mike plays. Okay. Uh, and then Mike goes into, so from that section, Okay, so just before the wah wah bit, you're gonna play. Okay, so wah wah parts. After this bit, he plays quite a lot of open E notes throughout this, um, and he's moving around on the B string to give you a sort of bit of movement really with um, Stone's chords. So I think he goes to the bridge pickup. So let me play that through. play that for another bar so it's okay another bit I'm gonna skate over he plays this sort of and then he plays um, 16th on that 17th fret so There's a bit of, and I think this. Uh, oh, and then it goes down to this riff. I think then by then it's faded out, so that riff is just with the open E ring in the wall. So keep practicing and until the next video, cheerio, bye bye.